doing my BoxyCharm November 2018 unboxing and try on video. So last month I uploaded this video and many of you guys loved it. Now normally I never upload on Sundays, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys as soon as possible because I know that many of you guys are going to start receiving your boxes. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go through it, show you guys kind of how I use the palette, what I think about it. I do have some thoughts and advice on how to use the palette. So later on in the video, I will get into all of that towards the end of the video, but I wanted to try it all on for you guys, give you guys my opinion on it, and yeah, so that's what we're doing today. If you guys watched last month's video, you guys know that my daughter and I both receive BoxyCharm. It's nice because I get to see and go through some of the different variations of products that are in each box, but this month, she and I actually got the exact same thing, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and go through this really quick, and then we'll go through the tutorial, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. These are the Cover FX Glitter Drops. These retail for $44 and it's in the shade Nova. It's really, really pretty, but I do have several of the Custom Enhancer Drops and I prefer that over the Glitter Drops just because I'm not a big fan of glitter. This one right here, I love this. This is in the shade Moonlight. I got like the little small set of four, but it's, it's a much more like smooth type formula. And that's what that looks like. So this is like the glitter from Nova. So I'm not a fan of the glitter ones. I just don't like glitter on the face. It's not my thing. Like I have glitter right here and I hate the way it looks right now because I did put a little bit of that right here on the Cupid's bow. I regret doing that just because I just don't like the way the glitter looks. I'm not a fan of it. It looks okay right here. I'm just not a fan of it like right here and on my chin. I feel like it just emphasizes texture. For those of you guys that love glitter, you'll love these glitter drops. So I did put some on my eyes and I will show you guys later on how I did that. So like I said, that retails for $44. I also got this set of brushes. These are from Luxie. This set is $21 and these are the Luminous Eye Set. These brushes are pretty awesome. I already love Luxie brushes anyway, so I was really excited to receive these. And I give you guys my final thoughts later on in the video about these brushes, but... I like these brushes. I got this. This is from Bodyography Pro. This is their makeup brush cleaner. And it looks like this retails for $12, which you know, you can never, you can never have enough makeup brush cleaner. I love the one from Sigma, the Sigma Foam. It's my favorite, but in a pinch, I am totally happy to try this. And you know, it's always nice to have a more of a travel size bottle for when, you know, I go on vacation for an extended period of time. I don't have to take a big bottle of you know brush cleaner so that'll be nice we also got these so this is from Farah. these are galaxy gold tweezers and these retail for $12 so on one end you kind of have the point on the other end it has this slanted like normal tweezer I even plucked some gray out of my hairs I showed you guys I had to pick some of those grays these tweezers are pretty awesome I don't know that I've ever used a dual ended tweezer so I'm very excited that I got that in my box and then finally the palette so this is from Ace Beauté or Butte I don't know like I can't pronounce normal words let alone hard words I mean come on however it is pronounced this is the palette that came in the box so this is what it looks like and I definitely have a lot to say about this palette and later on I will get into this earlier today before I started filming I was kind of playing around with it to try to kind of get some ideas on what looks I wanted to create and then I ended up doing this on camera and I have a lot to say about this palette so I will definitely get into that later on in the video. So this is what the palette looks like swatched. This shade is the one I have all over my lid and I played, today I played with every shade but this shade. I didn't use this shade. So this palette retails for $24.99. So the theme of this month's box is called Goal Digger, which is super kind of fun. Hashtag goals. So I really like that. It's super fun and I'm all about making those goals and you know, working your butt off to make them happen. I can appreciate this month's theme. I love the packaging on this palette. I think it's super pretty. And then I love the gold detail. Like I love how everything is gold, even though it's gold digger, but I like how they kind of put everything in there that's kind of gold and has that gold feel. There's even gold here on 
these tweezers. So it's kind of fun that they kind of kept that color theme as well. I'm really excited about this month's box. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. I'm going to show you guys quickly how I created this look. And then later on, I'm going to give you guys my full final thoughts, telling you guys what I think about every product, which ones are my favorite, which ones are my least favorite, if I think the box is worth it. We will get into all of that later on in the video. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. It's that time of the month and we are going to open up the BoxyCharm. We got the Ace Beauté, I don't know how you pronounce that, Grandis palette. I have no idea, you guys. I can barely pronounce normal words, let alone like hard words. So this is what the actual palette looks like. The carton looks like this. So this is what the palette looks like. We're gonna open it up and this is what it looks like. Look how pretty those shades are. I also got this brush set, which I'm definitely excited to try because I really do love Luxie brushes. So there are these gorgeous, beautiful, uh, like gold shimmery. I'm obsessed with this packaging. So this is a mini tapered brush. And then we have a mini angled brush. And then we have a mini round brush. And a mini flat angled brush. I wonder if these tweezers would be good for picking out these gray hairs. I got one right here. You see that little sucker? Haha, <gasps> yes, I got me a gray hair. Hallelujah. And I got me the second gray hair. See that little sucker? It's gray. I still have a few up in there. Gray hairs are so fun. So for this try on, I'm gonna go ahead and try these Cover FX Custom Drops. Ooh, it's gorgeous gold. <gasps> Ooh, that is beautiful, you guys. I think I'm gonna put some on the high points of my cheeks and then I'll probably put some like on my nose, my cupid's bow. I'm basically gonna wear this as a highlighter. I like to kind of put a small drop here on my hand. See right there? And then I like to take a beauty blender and go down into the product like this. And then I like to place this over my the high points of my cheeks. Let's try it without the beauty blender on this side. Let's just see if we can put it on with our finger. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So you don't have to put it on with a beauty blender. Look how beautiful that is. Whoa, we are nice and highlighted. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit and put it right here on the tip of my nose, and then right down the bridge of my nose, right there in that middle. And then right here on my chin. I have a zit coming right here, I can feel it. Oh, stupid shithead. Okay, I don't know that I love this as a highlighter, but that's my personal opinion. I feel like it's too glittery for my highlighter. I'm not a huge fan of glitter um, as highlighter. I think it's pretty on the cheeks, but I don't like it on this part of my face. So let's start playing with the palette. So I'm gonna go into the shade Patchouli, and I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm gonna pop this over the concealer and just kind of set it. I'm gonna take this brush from the set and I'm gonna go into the shade Cinnamon. It's that dark like brown shade in the palette. And let's just start kind of placing this on. Oh, see, it's, it's pigmented, like, yeah. I like that shade though, it's a beautiful shade. This shade is so beautiful on its own, and then you just kind of build it up where you want it, but this shade is actually really pretty on its own, and I am not mad at it. I just don't know that I want like a really crazy look. So my daughter just left to go on her harvest dance date, and all those teenagers are gonna be coming back later on this evening after the dance is over, and I don't wanna look like, I don't know, I just don't want, I just don't want like a real, crazy eye look, you know what I mean? I'm just kind of in the mood for something just a little bit more easy every day. I like this brush. Now, for those of you guys that like a big fluffy brush, you might not like it the way I do. I've been using my M506 brush from Morphe, which kind of is about the same size. Like you can see, they're about the same size. So that's probably, like I'm going straight in my crease with this brush. So that's probably why I like this brush because I like if I have a smaller brush, I feel like I can just control it better as far as uh, where I wanna put the shadows. If I have a big fluffy brush, it just kinda goes everywhere. Like if I go in with a big blending brush, 
Like I was using this brush, um, the E28 brush from Morphe, and if I want the shadow to go everywhere, I'll use a brush like this, but lately I've been wanting to kind of build slowly and kind of blend and build and blend, and if I go in with, automatically with a big fluffy brush, I, I just feel like I kind of lose control of the look when I want a more precise look. Like right here, I want this line right here to kind of give that definition. And if I went in with a brush like that, I would lose that def definition. So I like this brush. It is doing the job. So I want to wipe that brush off and I'm gonna add a little bit of the shade Clove, which is a peachy shade. I just wanna see what it looks like. I am just curious by it. I'm just gonna kind of place this right over top, right in the crease. Okay, these shadows are hella pigmented. I'm just not liking it right here on this crease right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the shade Jasmine, this really light shade right here, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. I'm gonna take my felt tip applicator, and I'm just gonna kind of pinch it and dampen it with my makeup wipe, and then I'm gonna go into that shade Jasmine and just start putting this all over the lid. And I am gonna kinda like fade it up into the crease a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go in with that angled brush, the mini angled, and I'm gonna go back into the shade Cinnamon. And I'm just gonna do this, like right here. I'm just gonna kinda build up that definition right there. And now I'm going to kind of hug this outer corner and just kind of pack that shade. I'm just kind of trying to smoke that out just a tiny bit. Now I'm gonna take the Cover FX drops and I'm gonna put a drop right here on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna take my ring finger, I have it right here. I think I'm just gonna kind of pop it right here. I'm working it in over top of Jasmine, but without like disrupting it too much. I'm gonna go back in with my felt tip applicator. I'm gonna go back into Jasmine and kind of really pack this on right here on this inner corner. Kind of make it fade into that glitter. Oh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? All right, let's add some more cinnamon right here on this outer corner. On the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this brush, which I think is actually perfect for a lower lash line. I might be using this all the time. So as you can see, it's on an angle. I don't know if that's showing up. Let me put it against something black. See how it's kind of on an angle? Well, it feels like it would like hug the lash line like perfectly. So I'm gonna go into that shade Cinnamon. I've got some right there. And I'm just gonna start kind of building up this lower lash line. Yeah, it hugs it. It's like perfect for the lower lash line. Seriously, that is like the perfect lower lash line brush. I like these brushes a lot. I'm really, really glad I got them. These brushes are pretty dang awesome. For the inner corner, I'm gonna go into the shade Jasmine, that first shade. Let's go ahead and put that on dry first just to see what it does. I just kinda want it to spray the inner corner. That's beautiful. That's so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eye, throw some lashes on, and I will come back, and we will discuss everything we got in the box, and I will let you guys know what I like and what I don't like. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and threw on some lashes. I went ahead and put on this lippy from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Uncuffed. Let's get into how I feel about all of these products. I will say, number one, up front, my favorite in this boxy charm are these brushes. I am so excited about these brushes and you guys are going to see me use these more and more. I don't know if you guys are like me, but typically I like my brushes like worn and you know, washed many times and I like them a little bit raspy and kind of just real bristly. You know what I mean? Like a brand new brush is hard for me to use. And so sometimes I will take a brand new brush and wash it and just really rub it against a towel and kind of get it a little bit more, I don't know, just worn. 
but these really, really impressed me. Now, like I said earlier, I do love Luxie brushes. They are really, really good, and I am so, so happy that I got this set. So this is probably my favorite out of everything that I got. And I'm excited to try the brush cleaner. I think you can never have too much brush cleaners. It's always nice to have extra on hand if you ever run out and you need to, re you know, you need to wash your brushes. I'm never sad about having, you know, more brush cleaner because this is awesome. Now, the actual tweezers, I wanted to point out when I was picking out the grays in earlier, I didn't realize these are double-sided. So on one end, you have more of the pointed tip and then on this end, you have the slanted traditional tip. So I really like this. I'm really, really excited to have these in here. So these glitter drops, I like it on my face. I think it's okay. I like it on the eyes, but it's not like wowy. Like if I had to, I would not buy this. Um, I don't even know how much these are. These are, this is $44 and to me, it's not worth it. Uh, yeah, I don't know that I'll be using this all that much. If you like a glittery type highlighter, you will love this. But for me, I'm just not into the glitter. This might be a product that you could put some lotion on your hands, drop a couple in there, and then rub it together and maybe put it on your body. I think I might do that with this. But as far as putting it on the face, I just, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So that's probably my least favorite out of everything that I got in my box. But let's go ahead and talk about the palette. I'm just going to say up front, the last couple of palettes that I've gotten from uh, BoxyCharm has not been my favorite. So the one that was in like the birdhouse, I'll put a picture of it right here. You, you know which one I'm talking about. That one was not my favorite. It was a cool tone palette, but just wasn't my favorite palette. I didn't feel like the shades blended all that much. And then last month was hard to use. Now, don't get me wrong. I was able to create a very pretty look with that palette, but it was just not my favorite. It was very hard for me to be creative in that palette. So earlier today, I was playing around with this palette before I put on my makeup. So I kind of wanted to play with some of the shades in here. And these are super duper pigmented and the problem with that is it's extremely hard to use and you can lose control of the look super fast so earlier today i went in with this shade and then i went with this shade and it had that dark like red brick shade but it kind of turned pink but oh my gosh it was so pigmented that i just lost control of it it was just so much so when you get your box i recommend go in super crazy light like go in very light and start building because you can lose control quickly. So I'm kind of glad that I kind of played around with this before I went on and started to film. I did use this shade and I played around with this shade in the corner and the shimmer shades are fine. It's the matte shades that I'm struggling with. That's the reason why I didn't use this shade in this look because I completely lost control and I don't even like this look 100%. It's not my favorite. I've definitely created I don't know. It's not my favorite. In fact, last month, I like that look more than I like this look. So this is not my favorite palette. I'm sorry. It's just not. And I don't think I'll be pulling it again. I think I'll just be putting this away and calling a day. I'm kind of getting discouraged when it comes to the boxy charm because the last few palettes that I've got, I'm just not happy. I'm not satisfied. Don't get me wrong. Have I gotten my money's worth today? Uh, yeah. The brush set alone was $21, which is what I pay for the box. So these totally made this entire box worth it because I love these brushes. The last brush set that we got, which one it was? It? This set right here. These are not my favorite. I did not like these at all. I don't even know what they are but they were not my favorite. The one with the green handles, I did not like those. These, I, I totally 100% love. With all that said, I still think it's worth the $21, but Boxy, please, pretty, 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 please, let's start bringing out better palettes. I'm sorry, Boxy, I still got my money's worth, and I never regret a boxy charm. I never do. So that is what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this extra video that I decided to pop up on my channel. Don't forget to come right back here tomorrow for my regular schedule at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support you guys show me in my channel. And to everyone in California, you are all in my prayers. I am so 
it's just devastating and I'm so sorry. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a fantastic week filled with love, happiness, and joy. I love you guys so much. Bye!